We now have a live image on the screen and I want to show you an easy way to set the gain and the offset so that your images are the crispest they can be. If you click on this little box here, this is the quick lookup table. You click on it once, it changes the color of your pixels to blues and greens that you can use to identify how your gain and offset should be set. Your gain control will change the number of blue pixels in your image. And you want to turn the gain down until you have only a few blue pixels. As you can see here at about 891, I'm starting to see a few blue pixels in my image. That's the proper setting for my gain. For offset, I want to have as few green pixels as possible just before it goes completely dark. So I adjust my offset until I have just a few green pixels. And you can see there, that's the proper setting for my offset. And so by using the lookup table and the blue and green pixels, I can quickly decide where my smart gain and my offset should be. If I click on the lookup table again, it goes to a monochromatic image. If I click on it again, it goes to color. Now I can change the color of the output on my screen. To do that, I'm going to stop the live imaging and then we're going to click on the photo multiplier too. So I'll go to stop, turn off the live imaging, and now if I click on this color band on PMT1, I can select the particular color that I'm interested in. I already have green, Let's select blue and I click OK and now as you can see the color here has changed and so my output for this screen if I click on live will be blue. Now you can see that it's a blue image and I can increase the brightness by either controlling the gain or I can widen the photo multiplier tube or increase the laser power. Now if I want to change the color output on the red, I go to stop, I click on the red, and let's make this one glow dark. Click OK. Now if I click on live, you can see that I have a completely different image. And I can control this again with my smart gain and my offset. Now you can see that my composite image is a lot different. So by changing the colors of the output of my photo multiplier tube, I can accentuate regions of interest on my image that I want to show in different colors. Let's collect a live image on our screen. And as you can see, I have a fairly well illuminated image, but it's a little bit grainy. How can I improve the quality of my image? There are several ways to improve the quality of my image. One is to use line averaging. The other is to use frame averaging. And finally, I can increase my resolution as well. So we'll click Stop, and we're going to come over to the left screen, and we're going to select the pull-down menu for line average. Let's do six line averages. So what are we actually doing? When I select six, I'm telling the system to read each line six times and then make a final output image. So if I click on capture image now, I'm telling the system to gather an image and it's going to take six scans per line. Now you can see that was a little slower than capturing an image with one scan per line. So let's switch back to one. We'll do capture image. You see how fast the image is collected, but it's a grainy image, low resolution. So if I select, again, six line averages, I've told the system to capture me an image, but average out those lines, and you can see a lot of that background noise goes away. I get a nice high resolution image using line average. It does slow it down. So you have to keep that in mind when you're using a fluorophore that might bleach quickly. The more scans you do per line and per frame, the slower your image will be. 
Let's go back to line average and change that back to one. And now we'll try a frame average. You can also average the number of frames that you take per picture. So we'll do four frame averages. And if I click on capture image, I've told the system to take an image, but do four different frames. And you can see that took a little bit longer. And it is somewhat clearer, but line average tends to work a little bit better for sharpening up your image than does frame average. Another feature that's useful on the left screen next to line and frame average is the accumulate tab. Accumulate takes an accumulation of each scan. If you have a low signal image and you want to boost the brightness of that image, So here I'll select four, and now I've told the system to do four line scans per line and to accumulate or add together all of those values. Now if I click on capture image, you'll see my image brighten up significantly because it's accumulating each one of those scans together. Accumulation is useful, but it also does introduce some noise. You can see that it's still accumulating. The image is still being captured. And maybe if your eyes are sharp enough, you can watch the, the refresh scan go down through the image, and now it's done capturing the image. And so that's a lot brighter than when I had one accumulation, which we'll do again, fast capture of an image, but low light level. So accumulation increases the brightness of your image, but it does it at the expense of adding noise.